We get into drills like this, and the harder it gets, the quieter we get. The tougher it is and the more focus that it takes, the less that I say because I'm so inner consumed with what I'm doing. You need to communicate. Not only you as a hitter, you as a passer mind, you as a setter. The ball is there and then you set that ball, call the back row hitter to it. Everything that we can do, we can communicate better, especially when it starts getting chaotic. Now, I'm, I'm, we're gonna go one step further. And you can see right now, we're getting lots and lots of movement contacts, and they're more game-like contacts. We're going to go one step further. We're going to drop that ball out. Just throw it back there. Your ball out. Okay? Now we're going to go continuous. Okay? Continuous. That means you both enter the ball at the same time. I want you to do it from the floor, not jumping. You both enter the ball at the same time, but now, setter, you're actually going to set the back row player here. Okay, so you, once you hit your ball, you go, next person comes in line and she's gonna hit the ball that you set. All right, higher ordered thinking, higher ordered chaos means higher, higher, higher level of communication. Okay, here we go. Go, 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 go. Good, put the ball back in play, put the ball back in play. Put the ball back and play. Okay, hold on, hold on. So already, here's where we're getting caught watching. Something else. You contact a ball, you have a next job. You have a next responsibility. So if you blow a ball over there, your responsibility isn't to watch that ball go. You have something else to do. This is the game of volleyball, right? If I pass a perfect ball as a front row hitter, and I just watch my pass, and then she sets me a ball, she's gonna be pretty mad, because I'm back here watching my pretty pass. Okay, you always have something else to do, so go do it, keep your focus. Raise your level of team communication. Okay, ball here, ball here. Raise your level of team communication. Yeah. Okay, hold up. Good. Okay, good. So what we want to build to is one minute of continuous butterfly, or two minutes, or a certain number of contacts in a row. That was really good. You guys are already three, four, five contacts in a row. Really good. So, but, oh, it gets pretty tough after a while. Again, great warm-up drill. This is what I see when I go to a lot of club and junior practices in high school and junior high practices. I go into a gym and I watch a lot of back and forth pepper. And then we stop and the coach says, warm up your arm. And the first thing the players want to do is this. And they start throwing back and forth, bouncing back and forth. They do all these things and I look at it and I don't understand the application. I see the application for this. Learn to hit a down ball. Learn to jump and hit a ball. Learn to hit a ball off a live set. Learn to control those balls. Everybody isn't always blowing kisses to you in the back row. Ball's moving around. You gotta get your feet there and put the ball on your target. So again, just a lot of great contacts and reps and still something for me as a coach that I can constantly move around and give feedback to any and every player that's on the court.